<laughs> Farm log. Cow patty date. I don't even know the date. Four. Nine. Seventeen. Tractor supply. Okay, so we went to tractor supply this morning because we needed some more crumble feed for the quail. Quail. Crumble feed for the quail. It was supposed to be a quick trip. Go to tractor supply, pick up the feed, come back, do our day. But no, somebody. Okay, wait a minute. Back, <laughs> back the whole point and finger. <laughs> finger estrogen train up a minute mm -hmm. okay you took as soon as we got in and tried to no, no 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 before we even go that far i said i'm going to go get feed and before i knew it jason had clothes on and was going out the door with me he wasn't even invited but he knew if i went to tractor supply <laughs> it wouldn't just be crumbles <laughs> so I started looking at the blackberries and the other soft fruit that they had up there because we still got to get some. A little get, bit of soft fruit in the ground. To get mm -hmm. that going. And you were gone. <laughs> well, because what you don't tell people is in the parking lot, you said to me. We're not talking about the parking lot. We're not talking about the parking lot. I came with you to keep you in check, but I'm telling you now. If they have chicks, we might get some. So, he went to look at the soft fruit. I went straight for the chicks to see if they had any on clearance. They did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did. Oh, did they? <laughs> so, so, I don't know if you can see Wait a minute. You got, <laughs> yeah, how many did you get last time? Uh, 30, 30? Somewhere around there, it's like 28 or 30. But, but, but the thing was, okay, so what happened? Well, I see you're 30. <laughs> and I raise you like 46. 40. <laughs> so, okay, so this is what happened. My mentality was. What had happened was. <laughs> we were looking to go ahead and start ordering our, mer our meat birds. Our broilers, yes. Right. So I had been pricing them, and we were going to do 100, and they were like $1.60 a piece, okay? But still got to pay for shipping and all that stuff. And then you got to deal with day old chicks and all that. So what I was thinking originally, and this is where I get myself in trouble. I walked over and they had meat birds at the Cornish Cross for a dollar a chick. Well, we just saved 60 cents a chick. Go ahead and put them in the box. I mean, that makes no, that's not even a, that's not a no Not only brainer. did you save 60 cents a chick, but we saved the shipping and we save the hassle of that whole day old the chicks dying during shipping the chicks um couple die, days couple in days after you get them yeah because, they've been acclimated to because yeah. with tractor supply we're getting a 30-day guarantee that these birds are gonna live which is hilarious on meat birds because you only run them for like 45 days <laughs> so that's like three quarters of their lifespan hey uh but anyway you don't have an ounce of Italian blood in you, but you talk with your hands, and if you smack me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got we got those. So that was the original plan, was just every meat bird you have in there, put it in a box, good to go. So we got about 20, I think it was like 20 meat birds, 20? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 20 meat birds, maybe. We got 20 meat birds. Yeah, yeah so, then I, so then I looked over, no, 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 no. It was 36. Because I remember it being close to the 50. Yeah. So it was like 36 birds. So I was like, cool. We were going to, I had originally thought maybe we would order 50 and then 50 again instead of doing 100 all at one time. So the 36, I was like, okay, that's cool. It's close to the 50. That'll give us a good start on our meat bird run. And I was done. I was good to go. Mm -hmm. Then this one comes over and goes, oh, Robin, look, they have Rhode Island Reds. I wanted Rhode Island Reds. I like Rhode Island Reds. The Rhode Island Red Roosters are great for predator, predator control. They are very protective mm -hmm. of their flock and they do very a very good job at 
protecting. As a matter of fact, I was talking with Mark from Bumblebee Junction the other day, and because we got some Australorps from them a while back, and he and I told him, I said, look, man, I said, we don't have many of your birds left because of the great raptor attack of 2016. 2016. <laughs> and he said, he said, well, you might want to invest in some Rhode Island red roosters. I said, yeah, I know. And he goes, look, we had that, they had one or a friend of theirs had one and they watched it go toe to toe with his big old red tailed hawk. Now, it killed the red tailed hawk, but it also died in the process. But that's how protective a Rhode Island red roo is. It's of its girls. And so that was one of the reasons why I, I really like them. Plus, they're a decent they're a decent egg layer and they're a multi-purpose bird that when we start running birds in the pasture with our Trackers. pasture rotation, mm -hmm. um, that's the breed I'm going with out there. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to get, how many of those did we get? Like 20? 20. I think we got 20 of those. So, we so now like, we're up to 50, 56 birds yeah and then we looked over and what else did they have on clearance <laughs> australorps uh, more australorps <laughs> so, so there was there was only 20 of those left so we said you know we got like 76 75 you might, 76 birds you might as well just put them in a box too so yeah so we got three boxes of chicks in the back of the car and, and all we wanted was one bag of crumbles. Of crumble. So I had to get <laughs> another bag of crumble too. <laughs> so. But the good news is, Jason had a gift card to Tractor Supply. So all of this only cost us about fifty dollars. Here's some of the meat birds right now. Here's a meat bird chick. They're in decent shape too. They're nice and very docile, healthy so, birds. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Yeah. They're in good shape. Hey. So. <laughs> and in and six to eight weeks, this will be on a plate somewhere. Chicken nuggets. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, they were all straight run. Mm -hmm. um, and which for somebody who's homesteading and raising their own meat, that's that's okay because because you want the we roo, well you want the ruse when it comes to your meat bird mm -hmm. because they're bigger bodied um bigger breasted right they with just, the corners crossed yeah. if you would prefer the males but i'm talking about like with all the other ones we didn't spend the extra 50 cents a bird on pullets because long term we could still take those ruse and call them you know and make meat birds out of them as well, well. My plan, smaller, but. well my plan with the Rhode Island Reds is I'll take all of the females that we have and then I'll put it depending on how many females we got and I'll do the nine to one ratio mm -hmm. and then every other roo I'm turning them loose and letting them free range mm -hmm. and so Let that them just yeah. protect around the property so that way they can just free range and do their thing around the property plus we do have some stray hens still running around our property yeah. that I'll catch a glimpse of every now and then, and maybe he can um, corral them, them back <laughs> back out and protect them. protect them, and then start making other baby mutt chicks <laughs> so that we could probably Which, you know those chicks are the best kind. They always seem to be the best layers, and mm -hmm. so so. We're gonna be doing a lot of chicken tractor videos <laughs> here in the next week or so. And we're gonna keep you guys up to date on how we're running all of these chicks and how everything are going. So Which reminds me, the ones that we bought, they're just about they're just ready. Just about to ready start. to come out. Yep. <laughs> so we could have timed it more yeah. perfect. So um right now we're in the market for a responsible adult. <laughs> To take that, us to tractor that could, supply. Could, could ride along with Robin and myself the <laughs> next time we go to tractor supply. Because we already know Blaze is no good either because he was with me the last time I bought, I bought blueberries. And <laughs> so if you want the job, just go ahead and leave a comment below. <laughs> we'll be accepting applications. <laughs> well, that's it for our quick vlog here mm. today. We just wanted to, to kind of cheer you guys up on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, my kids are 
uber excited. They want to run over here and look at all these chicks. So we kind of got to end this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to. So. All right. So thanks for stopping by and enjoying this little bit of vlog with us. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. And like always, 